Now, a little more on the budget, but not too much more because like you, after a while, but still. We've really heard a lot in the past 24 hours about one of the predictions in the budget that shows 140,000 people are going to lose their job in the next 12 months. If unemployment moves to 4.25 and then 4.5%, that is an extra 140,000 people set to lose their job in the next 12 months. Oh, what an incredible cost of living, taking care of people budget this may well be. As always, a typical Labor budget has one message to the middle class. Shut up and pay your taxes. Don't push back, don't argue, don't expect anything less. We'll take a big chunk, a bigger chunk, even half of all your stuff. It doesn't matter how much you are spending on 11 interest rate rises, 10 since this government came into office. It doesn't matter about all the other cost of living issues whatsoever. Your job in the middle class is to just keep paying and button your lip. But we learn that there is one group of Australians who have been struggling for way too long. And thankfully, the greatest government with the greatest treasurer and the greatest prime minister of all time has come to their aid. These poor souls gather for a couple of weeks at a time in a desolate building atop of a hill in a rather cold semi-regional city called Canberra. These are called politicians by Ms. Pre po MPs, members of a House of Representatives and a Senate. Well, apparently these people are the ones truly doing it tough because according to the budget that has nothing for the middle class, nothing for the middle class, that will see 140,000 people lose their jobs in the next 12 months. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, the Albanese government will spend $159 million over four years to give every MP an extra staff member. Why? To cope with their increasing workloads due to larger constituencies and the growing demands of social media? Seriously. They're already paid $200,000. Yet the demands of social media. I must feed the TikTok beast. I need another staffer. They're going after your business. They're making your business pay more. Remember... Prior to this budget, you could write off any asset you bought for your business against your tax. Now, they've brought it down to just $20,000 turnover, not profit, turnover, goes down to only a few million dollars as opposed to, again, an unlimited amount of money. Small business, yet again, cops it right in the ear. But the people who fly at the front of the plane, thanks to you, who earn 200 grand, thanks to you, who are at no risk of losing their job in the next three years, sadly, not thanks to us, are getting an extra staff member because of the pressures of social media. In the meantime, you want to talk about where you could spend $159 million? I have a suggestion for the Treasurer. The next time he's thinking about the pressures of social media, what about the people who in part are suffering because of things like social media? Our kids. Huge news today that the Kids Helpline, which you remember we raised a couple of hundred thousand dollars for during the pandemic. Well, there is a world of hurt that is happening right now amongst the kids of this country. You remember when, not after we just raised that money, but we went to their head office, we spoke to their counsellors. We've got plans to raise some more money for them later in the year, but it's a disgrace that we have to raise money when money's being piddled up the wall for an extra staff member because of social media. A call is made to the Kids Helpline every 80 seconds in Australia. That equates to 330 thousand cries for help from children around the country every year. And despite the obvious demand, most of those calls are going unanswered. So if you're an MP who's looking forward to an extra staff member, maybe you could say no. Maybe you could donate that extra staff member's wage to the kids' helpline. Of course, nobody will do that. You'll all just say you care about it. 